Oh boy, that's a lot of dust over there. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Now, everybody loves building PCs, right? Or you might already have like a beautiful PC at your home. But thing is, a lot of people don't actually take like proper care of them. They don't maintain it over time. And this can lead to a couple of problems and you might not even realize it, guys. Now, be honest, how many of you people like regularly clean your PCs? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I do it on a regular basis, guys, like every four to five months. And this can actually like greatly benefit me. So what happens is, say for example uh, take a time period of around like six months you don't clean your pc for this period uh, what happens is a lot of dust starts accumulating in the cabinet and these dust particles also have like special favorite spots they first and go settle near the components guys like crucial components near the fans and you know radiators power supply and whenever a lot of dust starts accumulating in these components it's obvious right your component performance will decrease efficiency will decrease your fan starts spinning slow and airflow reduces airflow reduces matlab obviously heating issue will increase right and on top of that it will lead to like th throttling issue like complete chain reaction guys and you don't want this to happen that is why cleaning your pc properly and that too regularly is like quite essential and that is what i'll be showing you in this video and i'll also give you a lot of special tips and tricks guys while showing you the cleaning procedure so make sure to watch it till the end anyways let's get started so before we actually get started with the PC cleaning process, let me quickly show you the current CPU temperatures and the thermal performance. We've got NZXT cam running over here and as you can see my PC is currently in idle state guys, 1 or 2% load only and with that only we are getting a CPU temperatures of around like 62 to 63 degrees centigrade guys. Now do consider that we are having a summer season right now so ambient temperatures will be slightly higher but anyway still 60 is like quite a bit of high so now keep this in mind and after cleaning we'll get back to this and again check the temperatures and see how much improvement does this whole process make oh boy so guys, now let me tell you the basic items that you would require to clean your PC. First of all, though, you'll need a cloth. Now, this is obvious. You need to clean your PC and all the components, right? And along with that, since we're doing a bit of deep cleaning today, you'll need something like a blower, guys, or like a vacuum cleaner that has like built-in blower function. Now, if you don't have this, you can even use like compressed air cans, which you can easily find on Amazon for cheap prices. That will also get your job done. And along with that, guys, to clean components or stuff like, you know, dust filters in your PC, or like delicate parts now you can use something like a brush guys you'll find this brush on amazon very cheap and affordable so quite useful for cleaning and lastly you'll need something like an air pump guys now this is used to clean components and you know in areas which your hand or you know cloth can't reach and you can, using this you can easily clean those areas Chalo, now let's get started with the cleaning and major caution guys before actually doing this whole thing make sure to take the PC outside like maybe your balcony or out of your home and do the cleaning because once you start the blower na, I'm pretty sure a lot of dust will come out so I'm giving you like a major caution and warning. Anyways, let's get started. Cleaning and servicing your PC is very simple. Anybody can do it at their home. Just watch my video step by step. So the first thing you'll need to do is remove all the tempered glass panels and side covers of your PC case. So what happens is when you use a blower, all the dust can easily escape out and nothing stays inside. And get a look at this. Now that's a lot of dust sitting over there. And mind you, I just cleaned my PC few months back. The amount of dust can actually depend on where you place the PC and also your location guys. What I've observed is generally PC accumulates less dust when you place it on a tabletop surface like how I do in my setup. Don't put it on the floor. So that can be like a tip for you. Also, if you live in like a busy area with a lot of pollution and traffic, then obviously you'll get double the amount of dust and you'll need to clean your PC more frequently. So first step is to start off with the blower because we want to get rid of the major dust settled on the components. Later on we can do the fine cleaning stuff. Okay, that was unexpected. You guys saw that, right? The amount of dust that came out from the radiator is like a lot, guys. I've told you, right, wherever there's a fan, there is like majority of dust accumulating over there. And that includes case fans, AIO liquid cooler radiator fans, and also power supply fan. 70% of the dust is there only. On the exteriors, it might not look that much, but you will be surprised when you start cleaning your PC. Now imagine if only like five to six months of dust is like this, what happens when you don't clean it for like one to two years? So basically, 
basically the lifespan of your PC components will reduce due to overheating. And just as a suggestion, if your PC looks anything like this, this or even this, I'd highly advise you to remove each and every individual components and do a deep clean process. Now in my case, situation is not that bad, so I won't be removing the components. And apart from the performance improvement, cleaning your PC can actually bring back life to your RGB, especially on the fans guys. Dust sits on it and forms like a layer of coating that reduces the RGB lighting brightness. And once you get rid of that and clean your PC components, you'll automatically get that glow back in your PC. Alternatively, you can even use compressed air cans also. They're actually a bit more powerful and much easy to work with. Plus the long nozzle on it lets you easily clean tight areas which are not easily accessible with your hands. You'll easily find them on Amazon guys or I'll leave links to them in the description box below. So as you saw guys, using that blower, we've almost removed like 50 to 60% dust from your PC. Majority of the work is almost done here. Now all you need to do is just give like finishing touches. For example, using this air pump and this brush, you need to clean out all the component areas and delicate areas or places where you can't reach using that blower and stuff like that. So just take this air pump guys and try to blow air on your motherboard near the RAM section or the DIMM slots and especially in these heat sinks areas of the GPU guys just use this air pump and blow out all the dust that gets accumulated just like this. These are the major cleaning areas and once you're done with that now time to move on to the smaller stuff, the dust filters of your case. You should be very thankful to these dust filters because they help you block out 60% of the dust and prevent them from entering in your PC. So if you don't have dust filters on your case, next time make sure to buy a PC case with them. Anyways, use a brush and clean out these filters. Alternatively, you can even wash these filters under tap. But keep in mind, never use any sort of liquid or cleaning agent for your PC components. Not at all recommended. Blower, brushing and cleaning with a dry cloth is more than enough. You don't want to end up like Gopi Babu from that serial. Lastly, don't forget to clean your I.O. ports on the motherboard, the GPU, front panel, back panel, wherever necessary. So this is what cleaning a PC involves and just like this, if you are interested, let me know if you want to see like more cleaning and servicing tutorials, especially for your keyboards, laptops or anything else. Just let me know. I can even show you like how to service your laptop and freshly reapply thermal paste also on it. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for such interesting videos on our channel. So that is it guys, we are almost coming to an end and for the final touch, use a simple dry cloth and clean up the entire PC and you can already observe the PC starts to look neat and fresh, right? Just put it back the way it was, put on the covers, tempered glass panels and it's as good as new. We are completely done with the cleaning part and this is how our PC looks like. Look at that beauty! Absolutely gorgeous right? Looks just like a brand new assembled gaming PC. So guys it took me around like one one and a half hour for the complete cleaning process and now comes the important part guys. I know you people have been waiting for this, the thermal improvements and the results. So previously before cleaning the whole PC, I've shown you right in the NZXT cam software, we were getting an idle CPU temperatures of around like uh, 63, 65 degrees also at like one or two percent load, absolutely doing nothing thing on the PC but now after finally cleaning the PC these are the results Now that's a good improvement, right? So you're almost getting like eight to nine degrees of difference, guys. And this can definitely make an impact in your day-to-day -day gaming and you know, these sort of stuff. And one more suggestion I can give to even further lower down the temperatures is, in case if you haven't cleaned your PC in like one or maybe one and a half year, I'd highly advise you to even replace the thermal paste on the CPU cooler, guys. You can just remove the whole AIO or your air cooler, whatever you have, remove the old thermal paste, reapply a fresh layer of thermal paste with good conductivity Activity and you can see an immediate difference in the temperatures guys you'll see almost like 10 to 15 degrees if you do all of these things and that can majorly improve your gaming or any sort of performance in your day-to-day -day life so that is pretty much it guys my tutorial on how to clean your PC at your home very simple very easy anybody can do it and that too using the same gadgets that you already have at your home
So if you all enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see such more videos on the channel and I'll definitely do that. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned to the channel guys and I'll see you all in my next one.